Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. So what we got going on here today, uh, this here we're gonna use as a storage container. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it up real quick so you guys can see in here. All right, this is gonna end up being storage container, but we want to, um, like with, I'll turn around, I'll show you here. We want to tuck it back into the hillside. And we're having them save the dirt over here on the side so that we can sandbag it up. over here for a moment. So what we're trying to do, um, now this one here, you guys probably saw this, with, uh, Jimmy dug this out by hand. And so with uh, the other building, you know, the other little, uh, it's, it were communications is what they were for. And all the communication stuff has been stripped out, and then they were just selling the boxes. Uh, he put the windows <clears throat> in this box here, but he dug all this out by hand. So I figured, well, you know, and he had asked me, he says, hey, well, when the Bobcat guy's there, could we have him dig out the next spot so that we can slide that back in there? And I'm like, absolutely. So uh, saves is going to save a lot of time uh, and effort, but uh, we wanted to be able to have that so that it's tucked tucked into the hill and so that's uh that's a game plan with that one so again just uh we're, it's getting a lot of things done uh getting a lot of things squared away uh, i'm going to do an uh one more video you'll see after this of the road and i'll i'll show you uh you know what he had gotten done uh over on this side uh of everything and we'll walk the hill and so then you can all tell me how out of shape I am and out of breath I am because I walked up a very steep incline. Uh, Dave's wife walked up the hill today and she said, it's very deceptive. She goes, I got part way up and I had to stop and catch my breath. And I'm like, yeah, people don't realize how steep that hill is. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're in the moment and you're, you know, when I'm walking up it, it doesn't look as bad. Um, I've had every one of my members come down, that came down here said, it don't look that bad on video, but holy crap. And everybody that's walked it realizes that it's no joke. <laughs> so, but that's okay. I mean, that happens. So, but anyway, so with this getting tucked into the woods, uh, you know, into the hill here, <clears throat> the thought process is thermal mass to help insulate it. Uh, we'll sandbag up the dirt and we'll utilize that uh, to, you know, uh, fill in more in the sides and everything like that and that's going to help that uh, you know stay more temperate if you will and so and because then if it's tucked into the woods uh, or into the hillside I should say uh, it's out of the way so we'll walk back over here again
So it gives you an idea, guys. Uh, so we'll get that building, you know, that box uh, tucked in there and get that all squared away. And then we'll have a, a nice place to, uh, you know, again, the more, the more areas that you have for storage, the better off you're going to be. Uh, it makes all the difference in the world, believe it or not. Um, so really happy, uh, you know. And, and again, guys, just so you guys know again, uh, these were, um, you know, Jimmy had brought these down. And uh, this, the other new storage shed that we have back here, uh, that was donated to us by Old Mutt. And so, uh, obviously, that's, uh, that's awesome. And uh, this canopy here, uh, this was Dave's canopy, and he decided he didn't want to utilize it. So I said, okay, well, we'll put it over here. And then this way, it, well, he did want his four-wheeler, this four-wheeler here, out of the weather. Uh, that way I could put my bike here. I got to get this out. It's going to get washed, and it's going to get ridden very, very soon. And, uh, but... Uh, you know, being able to store uh, things in here that are not going to be, you know, sensitive to the weather, that, you know, that's just, that's huge. <laughs> it gives us, like I said, it freed up the battery room uh, big time. The solar is doing great today. It's probably topped off. We'll go take a look at this right now while we're over here. Uh, this week, guys, I'll tell you, it's been crazy, crazy busy. I still, I got to get onto this wood pile and start working on that. Uh, but it just, there's been a million other things going on. So, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, it's cranking up pretty good. Uh, 54, if you look on here, 54.2, and now we'll kick this on. So that's where it's at right now. And right now it is almost one o'clock in the afternoon. It's uh, 12.50. Oh, did I get a phone call? Let's see who called. Oh yeah, okay, hold on. Okay. And if you look over here, the battery is 90% charged. So, okay, hell it out, out, out. Hold on a second, guys. I'm trying to see if. Hey, this is Ed. Somebody called, so I just was seeing who it was. Uh, feel free to call me back. All right, thanks. I don't know when that call came in. Uh, the reason that I wanted to call back real quick, guys, there's a possibility that today uh, the other building in the upper meadow may go in today. If it doesn't go in today, it'll be here next week. So we're just kind of, uh, you know, working on that. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off this video. So now we're almost up to 10 minutes on this video. But uh, remember, folks, we truly are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we truly will be in much, much better shape. We have to come together. We have to work together. Uh, that's important. We have to stop letting them divide us over race, religion, political affiliation. It's all tools used to keep us fighting amongst each other for no good purpose and it doesn't do any good at all so if we can come together and work together then we could focus on the real problem which is the government and big business that would be really nice to focus on right anyway also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's going to happen in life so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel last but not least std step thing and day one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. 
The only one that's going to stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive. Stay away from the negativity. And you're going to be just fine. All right? Please be safe, everybody. I hope you all, again, I hope you all have a great day. Uh, take care of your business. And actually, let's see. This video, I'm thinking, I don't even know. I don't even know what day it's going to go up, but you'll see it. All right? I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.